Hey Grim. Hey. It's a cozy morning here on the West Point. <laughs> you yeah. have the fire going. Wow. Right now it is 10 o'clock in the morning. We've been up since seven, I think. Christopher, when, when did you get up? You haven't really gone to sleep. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. And you might be hearing this noise. And that is the start of one of the biggest storms this year. I'm still in my pajamas, <laughs> of course. I'm gonna have to change out soon. But we have a huge storm coming our way. Like, if we get those winds that it's saying, I'm a little bit worried. Let me show you. All right, so today we have a lovely minus 11 Celsius and it feels like minus 23 because we have right now 15 uh, meters per second winds. And if we go to table here, you can see what we have coming on Wednesday is 30 gusts of 39 meters per second and that is like 85 miles per hour um grim i think you are gonna have to i don't know get a seat belt or something because it's gonna get windy so this is pretty crazy winds and it's starting today we are having gusts of holy 28 meters per second uh, in a few hours. Tomorrow is gonna be the same. And then Wednesday, everything goes absolutely crazy. And then on Thursday, it's supposed to calm down. So yeah, we're a bit worried. So we have to go up to the snowmobiles and we have to put covers on them or what do you wanna do? Yeah, oh shit, we should. Covers on the sleds. Do you think it's gonna be a problem with the windshields? No, if you put cover on, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's worth noting that my windshield has broken twice in storms. It literally, winds blow it into pieces. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's happened twice. Yeah. So I've had to buy a new windshield twice. But usually we try to move the snowmobiles so when they're parked, so they're parked in the right direction in a storm. So that's a good thing to do. Like if you know where it's gonna be, coming from you just change it so it's not straight on the windshield yeah. but i think ours are in a good position what else do we have to do we have to get some wood in so we have enough no yeah, some wood and then for a couple of days yeah maybe see if we have to take some stuff out of the shelves outside no, i think everything is everything's clean. fine everything okay, is okay. Fine. Um, is there anything else we have to do? We were supposed to bring down, we were supposed to walk down with a lot of water this week. We had planned to, but we're not going to be able to do that. So we're going to have to kind of not use as much water. Yeah, I think we're going to take, fill up the water on the Saturday. Yeah. Then it's calm down. So, yeah, because the wind is going to stay until it says Saturday, but it's calming down from Thursday and on. And the last time we had wind about a week ago, it was 25 meters per second. Now we're talking 39. And the kindergarten roof flew off in 25 <laughs> meters per second. First we go up to the snowmobiles, then we get wood. Then I take Grim on a walk before all of this goes crazy. Yeah, and I'm gonna go into town. Yeah. Are you going to the post office? Maybe. Yeah, okay. Start doing stuff Monday morning. You might be wondering how our village prepares for a storm like this, since a hurricane can do some real damage. So our governor, the Sysselmester, issues a warning on their Facebook page as well as on other information sites. Most of our communication in town is through Facebook actually. So Sysselmester and the weather people look at how the storm will be hitting Longyearbyen and what precautions will have to be taken. Some parts of the village, like Nybyn, pictured here, has a higher risk of avalanches and will therefore often be evacuated. The people living there either have an evacuation buddy, not kidding, <laughs> or gets accommodation for the night, or nights. There were no parts of the village evacuated this time, but schools and shops and everything are still open pretty much in any weather. The kids have a school bus that takes them safely to their school. 
Everyone is also asked to secure all their things outside to make sure the wind doesn't start, you know, throwing things around. But other than that, I that's pretty much it. We, you know, live our lives through any weather. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> we have a storm coming, as you could see. And Graham, you have no idea. We're gonna have to like bunk out here with you. And this is gonna be the, the, the last storm we thought was a big storm. And then this comes like a week later. And it's very typical for polar night. I don't know if, why do we think there's so many storms this time of year? Is it because the weather drops so quickly? I think that normally it is a couple of storms in November. Yeah, November is a super stormy month. And then December is usually a little bit better, I feel. And then January is, I don't know. I can't remember it being super stormy then. Let's check out the main street. November is like the start and it just goes crazy but 39 meters per second is ridiculous so we're hoping that it calms down before it hits us we always check ud for our weather and we check windy which actually tracks the winds and shows the weather moving in because it gives you a little bit better idea of what's gonna happen yeah. doesn't it wind is good yeah wind is good but okay, so it's 10 o'clock. We've been up for so many hours already. Even I got up early today. I'm in shock. <laughs> it's because the wind is making so much noise in the pipes. Because it comes and it just makes noise. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get up. But okay. Start the day. Start the day strong. How much light are we having? No, I don't think we're gonna have... Yeah, we still have a little bit. Right now, as you can see, not a lot. And then at 12, I think we have like the, the teeniest, tiniest bit of blue for like two hours. And then it's dark again. It's exciting. Oh, an update on how we're feeling. I am feeling definitely a little bit tired. Like my body is trying to get used to the polar night. So I can feel that every day is like, you have to work on your energy levels. But we take vitamin D and a ton of other vitamins to just kind of try to feel a little bit better. <laughs> but it's not bad. It's not like I'm exhausted. It's just your body is like naturally a bit more tired. How do you feel? Nothing really. Nothing. I think it's quite nice. It's super nice. But it's like it's, it's a different kind of tired though because during the midnight sun I'm exhausted every day. Yeah, that's worse. That's, that's, th that's a kind of tired you can't explain to anybody. Like your head is so tired of the constant daylight that it's, you, it's like your brain is tired that kind of time of year. Now I think it's more that your body is going into like a different kind of rhythm. So you just slow down everything. Yeah. Like I'm, I don't, I don't feel any kind of pressure to have to do anything. No. It's really it's going nice. into the winter mode. Yeah, it's winter mode. It's like lazy time in the best kind of way. Yeah, I have a feeling we might get some cold days now with the wind. Don't you think? Yeah, I think it's going to be quite cold when the wind comes. The wind is the worst. It's all the warm, warmness in the house. Yeah, it kind of sucks it out, doesn't it? Mm. And what's annoying with the wind is that it just comes in through every little nook. Mostly the wind come in through the windows because we have so big windows so the windows acts like a air condition 
Yes. It blows on the windows and it gets a little bit like a hair condition. The rest of the house is like tight and nice. But is it mostly the double paned windows in here? Yeah. Because I've never, I have not felt the same in the new house where it's triple paned. No, this living room can be, if it's coming from, if it's coming from west. Yeah. We're talking about these windows. These windows are great for views. Maybe not ideal in storms. Right now it is only minus seven degrees outside and 23 toasty degrees inside. <laughs> it's the fire. Okay, so this is the other system that we have, which is for like a backup. This is when the power goes out, which happens a lot during the polar nights. So this one runs on, what's it called? Bio paraffin. Bio paraffin. And it's like an emergency system. Yeah, it's a system when the electricity goes out so we can, so we can have some heat. heat in here. Yeah, because imagine we're in a polar night storm like these days. Imagine this week if the power goes out and, and we have, cold. yeah, we're going to have 40 meters per second winds, minus 20 in basic temperature. This house, everything would freeze. So this is our backup system, but system. these are our main ones. And these are the ones that we use. This one heats everything. And this one we have for coziness and for just extra heat. The good perfect. thing about this one is this one actually heats up the whole cabin. Yeah, yeah, we could. Uh, we could live on this one if we had to, but we would have to be here every day to put it no, to feed the fire. But it's big enough. It's definitely big enough, and it's what what's bad though. If you make a big fire, it's too hot to sit anywhere here. So when this one is on, I usually sit on the stairs or like in that chair because it's so warm. So yeah, that's funny. That's really funny. Reindeer? Yes. Hey. We have secured your chariot. It had fallen, it blown off its pallet rim. Have you heard anything crazier? We fixed it. Yeah, we fixed it.
Okay. <laughs> How did it go? It's bro. Is it really bad outside? No, not super bad yet. The wind is in another direction. Yeah, the last time. Last time it came straight from over out there to the windows, which is from the ocean, kind of unobstructed right now it's coming from that side which is behind the mountain so we have this mountain here kind of covering us a little bit <coughs> but is it it's worse over there right yeah. here looks like it's calm, Super calm. We yeah barbecue we could barbecue good to know good to know grim you ran inside and <laughs> threw you yourself clean? on the window you clean? <laughs> he hates this weather <laughs> Yeah, it's fun for two minutes. Yeah. And then it goes inside. Yeah. But so it's set to become a lot more. We are not at the peak. The peak hasn't started yet. I think Correct? Tonight, maybe. Yeah, I think it says in like five hours or so it's supposed to hit. I think we're going to be a bit protected though, to be honest, which is good. Uh -oh. The house is not feeling it a lot. It's just a little bit shaky at times. 20 past 12 p.m. a.m. It's nighttime. And you're going out to check everything again. Yeah. It, you look great. This is a moonlight headlight. Is it 6,000 lumen? Yeah. Yeah. Norwegian brand. Yeah, Norwegian brand. It's pretty cool. It's North, the same as the one North I have. Norway. Well, I have the same as you. Yeah, you're going to go outside and check it out. So oh, far, it's not too bad. It, like, some gusts are brutal. Yeah, but it's okay. You're gonna go with Christopher now! Good. so interesting because there's like no wind at all well there's a little bit of wind oh here comes a gust just because I said that <laughs> but there is it's just very little comparing to what we thought it would be today it's beautiful so today was said to be quite a lot of wind Oh, here come some gusts, but it really isn't that bad at all. So hopefully it won't be oh, too bad. But the thing is, hmm, oh, oh, that's a lot of wind. <laughs> it could be even worse around the corner. We're going to go and see because I'm wondering where this wind is. There are gusts coming through. I can feel now. And snow! Finally, some more snow. So let's work, walk towards the end of the road. The groom is so happy that we're out. You happy little boy? I found the wind. 
It's so windy here, but only in gusts. So we're almost at the end.